So I'm making this video just as in making a video. Um, Fish are doing great. Um, I picked up this new velour suit that I'm all happy about. So I'm all happy about my new velour suit. Um, <clears throat> the, like I said, the fish look at there. You can tell them in the background they're doing real good. Um, all I got is the one of the fry left. The other fry, I don't know what happened to him, but the one African OB peacock is still alive. Um, as you can tell, I need a new, I need a new uh, HD camera because this is terrible quality. Um, but anyways, uh, check out the suit, all matching, all matching suit. So I'm excited about it. Um, You're more than welcome to leave a comment, reply to me through Facebook, DeviantArt, MonsterFishKeepers.com, anytime you like. And uh, I'll get back to you whenever I can read it. And uh, I know a lot about the aquarium hobby. I've been in the hobby for almost nine years. All right, so I've been in there for quite a long time. You know, I started off real small and worked my way up to a reasonable size aquarium. I had bigger than this. I've had uh, 350, almost 400 gallon fish tank. And I had a Paku in there. He was much bigger. He was 24 inches. And uh, he, you know, he was just real real violent kind of fish you, you almost tried breaking the glass and that's that's what made me give up that aquarium I was like ah, I got to get rid of it it's not very well made and and it doesn't have a top to it and, and I didn't know what I knew now but if I know what I knew now I don't think I'd want a bigger fish tank because it is a lot more work um, trying to reach into a bigger fish tank is like crazy hard, you know, you, even with the stool, you know, so I'm happy with the 125 gallon, you know, after all the years I've been in the hobby, 125 gallon is like the best thing that you can set up for yourself in the hobby. Uh, basically, it's going to be the best looking in your house, if if you just one of those one um, one a home aquarium person, or you, most people are not multiple aquariums, but uh, if you are a multiple aquarium, then then that's cool too. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. But um, usually you have a room dedicated to that. But like if you have a fish tank out in the dining room, like most people do out in the living room, you know, you got to dedicate yourself to it. And I think that the the best sized aquarium and the most, it's going to be the most funnest in the hobby, the hobby to do, the most funnest to do is 125 gallon. If you go any bigger, it's not going to be any fun. If you go smaller, it'll, it'll keep you entertain but it's not the same as is if you have all that space to work with you can grow whatever you want in there um, and have different varieties of species and, 
and whatnot. So 125 gallon is the aquarium that most people would be pretty happy with, uh, opposed to anything bigger or smaller. And uh, and that's how I feel about the 125 gallon. Um, 55 gallons are okay, but they're limited, you know. I've had lots of 55 gallons, you know. I used to have like four 55 gallons in my room. And uh, basically, I find myself running out of room, so I put other stuff in the other aquariums to make it all work out. And when, in reality, all I needed was one show tank. You know, just a show tank, not just a bunch of aquariums, you know. And even though that fish do breed, you know, and it's kind of cool watching that happen, it gets a little aggravating, you know. And, and that aspect of the hobby is, is raising fry, and nobody pays you for what they're worth, you know. No, you know, and the, and the pet shops, you, you can get some of your supplies supplies cheaper but really you're not spending that much anyways if you're just gonna run one show tank but um another thing is that I always see people running saltwater setups and I think that they're are just putting the water down the drain and it's toxic to the water supply um, that uh, that we all drink out of you know it, it's it's toxic for that salt water to enter into our waterways, you know, and and it could be bad on the environment. And so I urge everybody to not put that water down the sink. Freshwater aquariums, it's good. It's all the same. It's just water, you know, the fish at the lake swim in it and everybody swims in it just fine and we drink out of the same stuff. But um, salt water is definitely not good. It's it's not good for humans whatsoever. We need the clearest, purest water. And if we're diluting it with salt, that is crazy. You know that we're putting salt into our water supply like that. And that's all I got to say. You know, but. Uh, yeah, go on ahead and comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, and uh, stay posted for another video.